One sure sign of spring is the annual horseshoe crab surveys in the Delaware Bay. Here at the Delaware National Estuary Research Reserve, we're getting our volunteers ready to do the three beaches that we control. These surveys are very important for several reasons. To make sure that we have these horseshoe crabs around for future generations to see, for the birds to eat their food, to be able to use their blood to make sure medicine is safe for us, we need to make sure that we can track their numbers and make sure that we as humans aren't affecting their population for the future. So the volunteers come out on the nights that we have our high tide with the new moon and the full moon in May and they come out to beaches just like this one behind me at Kitts Hummock. They will start at uh, the beginning point. They will go 20 meters. They'll drop a one meter by one meter quadrat. Inside of that, they will count the number of female horseshoe crabs, the number of male horseshoe crabs, and weigh it down the data sheet. Then they'll pick it up and they go 20 meters, do the same thing. And they do this until they've done 100 surveys. In each of the groups, you will have four people per group two that are counting and two that are recording. So to be able to do this survey properly and to be able to get information that can be used in uh, scientific reports and research, you need to make sure that the survey is done correctly. So everyone has to come to the training. We have two of them that we offer. One is on a Saturday on April 11th this year um, from 10 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. And the other one is on Thursday, April 16th from 6 to 7.30 p.m. At these trainings you come, we should tell you about the horseshoe crab, it's importance, uh, about the numbers from last year, what we found, uh, any new changes to the survey methodology, um, as well as just giving you a little bit of training so that you're ready to go on those nights to Matthew on the Beach. We usually have between 80 and 100 people sign up to come to the training. And then typically during the actual season, we use between 50 and 60 people that are actually able to make the survey dates. All the data that's collected, we, that we collect, we send to Fish and Wildlife uh, within Denrec, and then they use those numbers to go into their annual report to decide on management of the horseshoe crabs and other animals in the Delaware Bay. Thank you to our volunteers who help us every year, without whom we can never finish all these surveys and have the data we need to care for our horseshoe crabs.